You might have heard the phrase in lots of videos, but what does it actually mean and how does it work? Join us as we discuss the math behind the explosion of net worth after you reach your first $100,000. One of the key reasons for this phenomenon is the concept of a millionaire next door, which suggests that accumulating wealth becomes easier as one's net worth increases. There are a few explanations for such a phenomenon. Investing case study in terms of compound interest. Here is a more detailed explanation of how compound interest can contribute to the growth of net worth. Compound interest is the interest earned on the principal of an investment as well as the interest earned on previous interest. Essentially, it allows your wealth to grow exponentially over time as the returns on your investments are reinvested and continue to earn interest. For example, let's say you have a net worth of $100,000 and you invest $50,000 of that in a rental property that generates a 10% return each year. After one year, your net worth has increased by $5,000. 10% of $50,000. If you then reinvest that $5,000 and it also generates a 10% return, your net worth has increased by an additional $500, 10% of $5,000. This process can continue indefinitely, allowing your wealth to grow exponentially over time. The concept of compound interest is often cited as one of the key reasons why net worth tends to explode after reaching $100,000. As your net worth increases, you have more financial resources to invest and potentially earn higher returns. These returns can then be reinvested, earning even more interest and contributing to the growth of your net worth. It's important to note that the power of compound interest can take time to fully manifest. The longer you're able to invest and let your money compound, the more significant the impact will be. For example, if you invest $100,000 at a 10% return and reinvest all of your returns, it will take just over 11 years to double your money. However, if you're able to continue investing for an additional 11 years, it will take just over 4 years to double your money again. It's also worth noting that the rate of return on your investments can significantly impact the power of your compound interest. A higher rate of return means that your wealth will compound more quickly, while a lower rate of return will result in slower compounding. Overall, compound interest can be a powerful force on the growth of net worth, especially over the long period of time. As your net worth increases with the passing of time, you have more financial resources to invest and potentially earn higher returns, which can be reinvested and continue to earn interest, contributing to growth of your net worth. Investing case study in terms of real estate Another point is that once your net worth increases, you have more financial resources at your disposal. This means you can take on larger investments and potentially earn higher returns. For example, if you have a net worth of $100,000 and you invest in rental property, you may be able to earn a higher return on your investment than someone with a net worth of $50,000 who is also investing in rental property. This is because if your net worth increases, you have more financial cushion to absorb potential losses. For example, if you have a net worth of $100,000 and you invest in a rental property that doesn't perform as well as expected, you may still be able to weather the storm and hold on to property until the market improves. On the other hand, if you have a net worth of $50,000 and you invest in rental property that doesn't perform as well, you may not have as much financial cushion to absorb the losses and may be forced to sell the property at a loss. Second, as your net worth increases, your ability to leverage your assets also increases. Leverage is the use of borrowing money to increase a potential return on an investment. For example, if you have a net worth of $100,000 and you have a mortgage on a rental property, you may be able to use the equity in that property to secure a loan for another investment opportunity. This allows you to compound your wealth over time by using the returns from your initial investment to fund additional investments. For example, let's say you have a net worth of $100,000 and you use $50,000 of that to buy a rental property that generates a 10% return each year. After one year, your net worth has increased by $5,000, 10% of $50,000. If you then use that $5,000 to buy another rental property that also generates a 10% return, your net worth will increase by an additional $500. 10% of $5,000 after one year. This process can continue indefinitely, allowing you to compound your wealth over time. Finally, as your net worth increases, you may also have more opportunity to increase your income. 
For example, if you have a high net worth, you may be able to negotiate higher salaries or start a business that generates additional income. This can further contribute to your growth of your net worth over time. Overall, the concept of the millionaire next door suggests that your net worth increases. You have more financial resources and opportunities to grow your wealth, which can lead to significant increases in net worth over time. This is because you have more financial cushion to absorb potential losses, the ability to leverage your assets, and more opportunities to increase your income. How to save up your first $100,000 Two important justifications for saving our financial goals and financial security. Financial security and preparation provides you with more assurance that you'll be able to cover unforeseen expenses, pay your own retirement, and mainly your preferred standard of living. Goals can help us focus on the future and manage our savings effort. And after you've done that, getting the subsequent $100,000 will be simpler. Keeping the costs low. Keeping costs low can be a helpful strategy for accumulating your first $100,000 because it allows you to save and invest more of your income. By minimizing your expenses, you can free up more of your income to be used for savings and investing, which can help you build wealth over time. Here are a few ways you can keep costs low as you work towards your first $100,000. Number one, create a budget. By creating a budget, you can get a clear understanding of your income and expenses and identify areas where you can cut costs. This will help you prioritize your spending and make more intentional decisions about where your money is going. Number two, negotiate your bills and expenses. It can be helpful to periodically review your bills and expenses to see if there are any opportunities to negotiate lower rates. For example, you may be able to negotiate a lower rate on your cell phone or internet bill by shopping around or negotiating with your current provider. Number three, cut unnecessary expenses. Take a look at your spending and see if there are any expenses that you can eliminate or reduce. For example, you may be able to save money by canceling subscriptions or memberships that you no longer use, or by opting for cheaper options when making purchases. Maximizing your employee benefits. Maximizing employee benefits can also prove to be a valuable approach for stashing your first $100,000. Many employers offer a range of benefits that can help you save money on things like healthcare, retirement savings, and education. By taking advantage of these benefits, you can potentially save thousands of dollars each year, which can be used to help you reach your financial goals. The following are some ways you can maximize employee benefits. Number one, take advantage of the 401k matching. Many employers offer a 401k matching, which is a way for them to contribute to your retirement savings. By contributing to your 401k, you can potentially save thousands of dollars each year and get a head start on building your retirement nest egg. Number two, Enroll in health insurance. Health insurance can be expensive, but many employers offer group health insurance plans at discounted rates. By enrolling in your employee's health insurance plan, you can potentially save hundreds or thousands of dollars each year on healthcare expenses. Number three, take advantage of tuition assistance. If you're interested in continuing your education, many employers offer tuition assistant programs that can help you pay for college or other types of education. By taking advantage of these programs, you can potentially save thousands of dollars on educational costs. Number four, use flexible spending accounts. Many employers offer flexible spending accounts, FSAs, that allow you to set aside pre-tax money to pay for things like healthcare expenses and dependent care. By using an FSA, you can potentially save hundreds or thousands of dollars each year on taxes. By maximizing your employee benefits, you can potentially save thousands of dollars each year. So it's important to carefully review your employer's benefit offerings and take advantage of any opportunities to save money and increase your income. Generate additional income. By finding ways to generate additional income, you can potentially save more money and reach your financial goals more quickly. Here are some ways you can generate additional income. Number one, start a side hustle. A side hustle is a way to earn additional income outside of your full-time job. There are many types of side hustles, from freelancing to starting a small business. By starting a side hustle, you can potentially earn hundreds or thousands of dollars each month in additional income. Number two, rent out a room on Airbnb. If you have an extra room in your home, you may be able to earn additional income by renting out on Airbnb. This can be a convenient way to generate income, especially if you live in a popular tourist destination. Number three, sell items you no longer need. 
If you have items around your home that you no longer need or use, you may be able to sell them online or at a garage sale to generate additional income. Number four, rent out your car. If you have a car that you don't use frequently, you may be able to rent it out on platforms like Turo or Getaround to generate additional income. However, it's important to carefully consider the potential risks and rewards of any additional income streams before getting started. Given above are all the reasons why the first $100,000 is important and how you can achieve that. However, it's important to note that building wealth can take time, so it's important to be patient and stay committed to your financial goals. Let us know in the comments about your views on this.